Mar uh, is going to talk about HIV in adolescence. Uh, and I'm going to make uh, the attempt to pronounce her name, and I, hopefully she'll forgive me for all the mistakes I make. So it's Nave Yenso. And please welcome to India to make your presentation. Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nan Nui Yenso Tifika. You can call me Mina. <laughs> Today I would like to present a story done in our project. The title is Clinical and Immunobiological Characteristics of HIV Infected Adolescents or ART in Myanmar. These people are who conducted this service. MSL is captured in the West Ninthai region since 2004. MSL project is comprehensive HIV care for high risk group and vulnerable population in the West districts. In 2015, Myanmar had estimated over 200,000 of people living with HIV, with HIV prevalence approximately 0.6 percent. Prevalence is higher in the high risk group in MSN community, 11.6 percent, and in female sex worker, 40.6 percent. Approximately 5% of the total MSZ HIV positive are in Myanmar are adolescents. Many adolescents are born with HIV, which means many adolescents will be on ART for most of their life. Leading use of ART can lead to cyphers or biological failures. Adolescents have new peer pressure that they might deal with. For example, San or Dolazan don't like taking pills in front of their friends, uh, which can cause problems with adherence. As we presented MSSI at 2050, as a cohort, HIV positive adolescents in Myanmar are less at presentation, stay on ART longer, and less loss to follow up and respond better immunologically than their adult counterparts. In 2016, cross-section is study done in our projects. The method is all adolescents 10 to 90 years or age who present as January to April 2016 uh, were invited to participate or enroll after informed consent. In this study, complete physical examination and laboratory tests Laboratory test consists of CD4 cow, complete blood cow, viral test, hepatitis C antibody, HPSAG, cholesterol, creatinine, uh, complete laboratory test. If viral more than 1,000 copy per may, resistant testing was also done. Major health assessment was also conducted by our trade counselor. This study was approved by the uh, Antigua Review Board of Man Myanmar Ministry or Head and MSS. The graph show cohort demographics data. In our study, 177 adolescents are participants. Out of 177, 96 are female. Their median age was 30.4 years, and their median time in our cohort is 8.4 years, and their median time or ART is 7.1 years. Average CD4 is 728. From the demographic data, not all adolescents start ART at birth. Many present to the clinic as children where they become sick. Out of 177 dollars then, 140 are first line or ART, and 37 are on second line and no third line regime. Among all 37 adults on second line, their median time on second line is 1.9 years. The reason why they changed to the second line was 34 cases reported as first line biological failure, and three cases reported as intolerance of first-line regime. 
Our one seventy seven dollars and one sixty eight ninety four point nine percent had anti deliver via low. Nine dollars and had T deliver via load and genotype dance. Seven dollars and had resistant mutation. The tall blue line show the size of mutation of genotype. This, gra this graph shows the clinical characteristics of adolescents on ART. 74 adolescents have evidence of lipodystrophies. Lipodystrophy, which means abnormal fat distribution on the body. And seven had neuropathy, which means numbness sensation of peripheral. And one adolescent had pH unit score greater than and cis. Uh, equal cis, which may many man depresses. Most adolescents have past opportunistic infection before we start study. In our study, 101 of adolescents have previous opportunistic infection. TB is more common. 92% of adolescents had extrapulmonary TB and 6% had or uh, esophageous candidiasis, and 1% had PCP, and 1% had disseminated non-TB mycosis. From the social aspects of adolescents, out of 177, 127 of adolescents is still going to school. The others working as manual worker, daily worker, tailor, sailor, and some just stay at home and help their family. Most of adolescents are often by at least one parent. In our study, 119 adolescents are often. Few adolescents reported problematic behaviors. 10 reported about smoking and 40 about drinking alcohol and one reported illegal drug use. Uh, what we are going to do next is to analyze our quantitative data in DNW with adolescents. We would like to publish the whole studies or quantitative surveys and qualitative survey. When we will have more results from that interview. The conclusion of our study is Adolescents had good immunological recoveries on ART and low level of current biological failures. Low level of biological failures, are, but many already changed to second lines. Adolescents and MSA HIV clinics adjust well socially and have low level of depression. Counseling programs are likely helping their mental health. These are preliminary results of the quantitative service. We still need to analyze qualitative service where we will have more uh, results from this interview. Thank you to all the MSA clinics and office staff who will help to provide the best treatment possible to many people. And thank you to the adolescents and their family who participate in this study and Thank you for listening. So questions? Hello, my name is uh, Annette from uh, Health Promotion and Community Engagement from Amsterdam. And I have a question. Um, if you're, because your adolescents do very well in the adherence, and I was wonder even better than the adolescents, if I understood well. And I was wondering if you had special programs to support the adolescents. Oh, well, yet in our projects, we have, uh, we depend on their age. For the child, we divide us, uh, we call ECG. ECG meet a hearing counseling groups. The age from five, uh, Six, seven, eight is ACG one, like the, the, the age. Six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, ACG two, ACG three, and over uh, 50 years, the adolescent. We try to organize to get the same appointment according to their age. And we have uh, activity time mobilization trick every year 
according to their age. And we have uh, peer, peer support group every, uh, every their appointment date. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you for the question. Thank you. I am Dr. Dhyan. My question is, as you mentioned that immunological and virological outcomes were better in adolescents. Uh, what about uh, the side effect uh, like a neuropathy lipodystrophy from the normal? Thank you. Yes, uh, most of the time when they take the ART, they take with stability. So most of the stability side effect with lipodystrophy. In my results, 74 dollars I have lipodystrophy, which means uh, different the abnormal fat distribution. So when we see the patient, the adolescent is different with other adolescents. Their body structure is not uh, like normal adolescent. Me, we took far too long to phase out stavudine. Um, we fought but now, and f sorry. Yeah, but in now our project, we phase in our G4D. We only use uh, combination, fist drugs combination, only one tablet at night. So the adherent is better. They don't need to take the pay in front of their friends, just take at night, only one time study. Yes. Thank, Thank you, so you much. very much. Yeah. Um, I'm going to. Uh, if there's one last question, if not, then I'm going to go over to the next presentation. Um.